It's the holiday season at the time of this recording, and if you're like me, you're probably inundated through print, social media, television, with the bokeh effect. Or as I knew it before I looked it up on Wikipedia, pictures with blurry Christmas lights in the background. This is pretty common in photography, where a photographer will use a shallow focal length, allowing the lens to render points of light in the background as blurry. This effect you can see from your favorite big box advertiser to your favorite picture of someone's dog on Instagram. Now let's take a look at how Fusion 360 can create this dynamic effect for a product rendering. The first thing that we need to do is create a series of lighting sources that we'll put in the background. I'll use the sphere tool and pattern to create a sea of lights that might look like street lights or the lights on a tree. What I'm trying to achieve here is to have lots of points of light that go both above the subject in my rendering and also lights that go deep into the background. The depth here is important to create varying light effect in Fusion. With the pattern of lights created, let's apply a light emitting material to the spheres. You'll find an emissive folder in Fusion 360 under Other. And in here, you'll find a library of LED lights, incandescent bulbs, display screens, lots of ways that you can showcase light emitting objects in your designs. What I'm going to do is apply an LED light source to my objects. Next, I'm going to pattern those lights again so I have a matrix of light in three dimensional space. Using the same techniques as before, if I switch into a different lighting environment, you can see all of the points that I have in space. Now it's time to jump into the rendering workspace and we'll make some adjustments to our scene settings. In Fusion 360, we can use the HDR environments which have image-based lighting that we use to light our model. In the scene settings, we can control the HDR lighting with a brightness setting. You can see if I bring this value down, the environment lights will emit less light. And if I take it all the way to zero, then the HDR image-based lights will not light my scene at all. Only light emitting materials will now light my scene. It is important to remember that light emitting materials will not light the scene until you start to ray trace. Ray tracing will effectively trace light around the scene and capture light absorption, reflection, refraction, and create our shadows and reflections in the scene. Next, I'll turn on the ground plane in Fusion and make the ground plane reflective. The reflective value will control how highly reflective the ground plane is. Zero being a highly reflective mirrored surface and one being more diffused. The last and most important setting to create this effect is depth of field. In Fusion, we use depth of field to focus our camera on a point. With the focal length set, objects in the foreground and background will be increasingly more out of focus. Setting the depth of field and focusing on the logo of the helmet will allow the points of light in the background to be out of focus and give us the desired blurry light effect in the background. Now let's set up our shot and hit in canvas render to see what we've created. The LED lights are bouncing light off the top and side of the helmet, diffusing light into the ground plane and creating a really nice silhouette of the back of the helmet and the face mask. This type of backlit lighting is dynamic and great if you wanted to create a teaser image of a new product or just showing off the shape or silhouette of an object. You'll see if I change the brightness to zero, only the light in the scene is coming from my LED bulbs in the background.
let's switch to a more finished example where I've spent more time putting my background lights in a more irregular pattern. And if we open the finished example, you can see several of the lights are overlapping and blurry in space. Now that you know how to create light emitting materials in Fusion 360, leave me a comment and be sure to post your examples to the Fusion 360 gallery. Happy holidays.